Mm-mm-mm. Man, don't be this driver. Stick around and I will tell you what I am talking about. Well, I just picked up my first order and here it is at 1.56 in the afternoon. I came out at like, I don't know, 12 o'clock, 11.30. Had a couple of things to do first, but been started for about a good 30 minutes and nothing coming in can't get on DoorDash and I always have a roadie running in the background so I clicked on roadie to check it out it had one delivery from Best Buy the printer check it out it's paying 1151 I think for eight miles yeah it beats sitting and earning nothing so I want to tell you about this driver but We'll get to that in a minute. Y'all go ahead and take a second to click the subscribe button down below. And don't forget to ring that bell icon so you will be notified of any new videos that will be coming out. So did y'all work this weekend? The 4th of July weekend? Did, did you do any good? I was actually kind of surprised. Um, the 4th? Saturday was a decent day, not great, but a decent day. I think I made like 120, 130 bucks, something like that. But Sunday, man, I didn't get a real early start. I started um, like, I don't know, I want to say around 1 o'clock in the afternoon. And I stayed fairly busy until about 4 o'clock. And then it was like, they turned the water off. I don't know what was up, but uh, I got hardly nothing. And what I was getting was those dreaded $3 orders that nobody should be taking. But obviously somebody does, or they wouldn't be doing it. One of the little errands I had to do was fill up on gas. Man, keeps going up, up, Turn and right up. Turn right onto Garfield Street, then continue onto Beverly Drive. What is the gas prices like in y'all's area? I'm supposed to turn right there, but that's okay. I can turn right here. Turn what right the... onto Seymour Road, then turn okay, left onto okay. Beverly Drive. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Man. So what is gas prices like where y'all live? Turn left onto Beverly Drive. I was, uh, got a comment back on a comment I made on Mr. Joe Giggs' video. If y'all haven't watched him, I'll put a uh, link to his channel down below. Y'all can go check him out. Uh, anyhow, he was saying gas was three thirty-seven a gallon up where he lives. When I filled up here in Wichita Falls, Texas, it was uh, two sixty nine a gallon. Man, I, it keeps going up. It makes me wonder for the people that are just kind of scraping by and just doing this part time. Are they going to hang in there and keep paying those gas prices? Or are they going to give it up for a little while? Yeah, gas prices are ridiculous, and they're going to get higher. So. Be prepared. You all right? I am going to take a picture of the item because you have to take a picture of the item you're delivering with the surrounding area in the background. Don't forget to do that. Don't just take a picture of the little label. Take a picture of the surrounding area. And I'll be right back. Well, I thought that paid 11 something. Actually, it paid, can you see that? 13, 15. Not bad, not bad. An easy little trip. Nothing heavy, nothing smelly. And you made somebody's day because they got something new. Don't you like getting new stuff like that? It's like a new toy. Man, it's starting to cloud up. What do you think, it's gonna rain today? 
Yeah, there's a vehicle coming and they're not gonna slow down. Even though they see us pulling out, they were way back there, but they just kept hammering it. So, always watch your six. Hey, did y'all ever watch Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory? You know, in the factory where they have the Chocolate River? Well, guess what? Wichita Falls has its own Chocolate River. <laughs> Ain't that cool. I wouldn't advise drinking or eating out of it, though. Although, they're supposed to have some pretty good catfish in here. That might be worth a sample. Really, though, this is the uh, walking path in uh, Wichita Falls. Kind of goes through Lucy Park, around to Lake Wichita, and kind of pretty much all the way around town. I hope you can hear me. The wind's kind of blowing. This uh, road right here is Loop 11, which some people call it Beverly. Actually, I think it is Beverly until you turn off right down there. And then from that point north to 287 is Loop 11. But anyway, I just wanted to get out and stretch my legs a little. Thought I'd bring y'all along. Tell you what. Even though it's cloudy, that humidity is kind of getting up there. Maybe rain? I hope so. So yeah, I was working the other night and uh, I go into my favorite McDonald's here in Wichita Falls. The people are nice, they're fast, and you can actually go in the lobby and pick up your order. Instead of having to wait through those dreaded lines. Anyway, so I go to the bathroom. I, I look up on the counter. I, I see my sack sitting there. But, you know, they keep them a little further back. And you're supposed to wait till they give it to you. Keep that in mind. So I go to the restroom. I come back out. And there's this young lady. Um, another delivery driver. Standing in the little lobby. And apparently she had just walked in because she's... <sighs> because there was nobody right there to meet her immediately. And she just, she's a little shorter girl. I'm not gonna say real short. She's probably five foot tall, five one, I don't know. She reaches back there and, and I don't know if you can see, reaches back there and gets that sack, slides it up and, <clears throat> and you know, when she made it really loud like that, the girl from the back, you know, that was trying to work the window, she come walking over there and she goes, is this your order? And the girl says, no, I'm door dash number, blah, blah, blah. And it was my order and I knew it was my order, but I'm not gonna just reach back there. I'm gonna get their attention and let them hand it to me. That little girl was kind of hateful. I don't, and I got my order and, and uh, I went ahead and left, but I don't know what, if anything was more was said or if her attitude changed, I sure hope it did. But that ain't all of it. When I walk out the door, she has a car. I'm not going to say what kind of car it is. But she has a nice little sporty car sitting there in the drive. When, when you go through the drive through I don't know about all McDonald's, but the McDonald's here, if you pull on up, it'll say reserved for drive through only. And, you know, we have our parking over on the side. It'll say... Uh, Handicapped, uh, drive-through, pickup orders, uh, curbs, curbside delivery orders, whatnot, over on the side. But this is literally in the path of the drive-through. She had pulled up and just stopped right there and parked her car. Car's still running, but she just parked her car right there. I guess uh, she didn't want to walk an extra mm, 10, 15 foot. I don't know. Just try not to be that person remember those people working in these restaurants they're busy too you know they got I know time is money for us and we all know that but have a little patience if they just totally ignore you I get it just be polite about it but get their attention but don't just walk in there with an attitude they're trying to work the drive through they're trying to work the fire they're trying to work the grill oh I couldn't do it. I, 
they would stress me out probably. That's what I like about this job. If I start getting stressed, I quit. I take a break. You can do that in this kind of job. And what I'm getting at is don't be that person. Treat everybody friendly. You know, just be nice. And keep a smile on your face. Y'all remember that. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye for now.